You know what sort of rumors I love, some sort of leaks that I really enjoy that aren't related necessarily to Switch 2? I mean, they could be, but, you know, you know what Switch 2 rumors and leaks are, right? We're usually talking about specs or some third-party games or maybe a Mario game or something, right? No, the kind of rumors I actually love to cover the most deal with my favorite franchise of all time. And of course, that is The Legend of Zelda. And some of these rumors that we're going to go over today, some of these leaks, could have to do a game or two possibly dropping this year on Switch. So these aren't necessarily Switch 2 rumors, although they could end up being related to Switch 2 because we don't know 100% what they mean outside of one particular one that's very, very specific over what it's about and really reaffirm some old rumors about games coming to Switch. But first, we got to get to the thing that started the whole conversation, and that is Midori. Midori is one of the most reliable leakers out there, and we've been covering a lot of her stuff, and she keeps being right. So this is really cool, and she's been leaking a lot of Nintendo code names recently, but these code names led to other discoveries that I'm really excited to get into. But before I do, I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. Hopefully, you're enjoying the video. If you like this sort of coverage or you want to skip this little segment, we have timestamps down below but if you do enjoy i'd appreciate if you would drop a like and subscribe to the channel and go down below and tell me what is your favorite zelda game and why i'm very curious because we all have lots of different tastes and play games for very different reasons all right let's just dive right into the original rumor here this comes from midori who says there is a project at nintendo with the code name edward this might be related to the rumors of a new zelda series title. She does also go on to note that there is a project at Nintendo in development with the code name Anna. Elsa is also the code name for Nintendo Switch Sports, so it could be related. Elsa and Anna, yeah, you relate that to that Disney movie. Okay, that could make some sense. But one thing she does note is that Richard was the code name for Link's Awakening Remake on Nintendo Switch. Now, a lot of this is interesting, and you might go, man, have I heard of that name Edward before when it comes to Zelda? Well, maybe you have, because I did some digging, and it turns out that Edward was a, a name of a character in The Wind Waker in the German translation of it. That character we know in the English one as Camo, which is an 18-year-old that is uh, doing a few things over on Windfall Island. I had to think about it for it. Was it outside or Windfall? I'm pretty sure it's Windfall Island. And so that's really cool. And look, it could mean that this is a Wind Waker related project. Now you might go, well, that's cool, but uh, what about Twilight Princess? And again, we don't know if this is Wind Waker, right? Because we actually might be able to tie this to something else. Before we do that, though, I mentioned Twilight Princess. Well, Midori actually had something to say about that as well. So you can see here's the original tweet here. This person said, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Remastered. Midori responded, I do not know why Nintendo is not releasing it yet, which is inferring, or at least implying, I should say, I'm inferring, Midori's implying that Twilight Princess is a remaster that is ready to go on Switch. This has been rumored for a very very long time and look we all know like Jeff Grubb and others out there said hey Nintendo's just kind of sitting on Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD uh, this specifically she's just talking about Twilight Princess it appears the remaster is just done and she has no idea why Nintendo hasn't released it yet now we know Nintendo's been sitting on games Metroid Prime remaster was factually sat on I'm sure uh, Pikmin 1 plus 2 HD were probably also being sat on and we recently found out that the thousand year door was also sat Sat on for almost a year. So Nintendo very well could be dropping Twilight Princess Remastered or HD or 4K or whatever they call it. It's not going to be 4K, but whatever they call it on Switch this year. It very well could be a game they're dropping towards the end of the generation. So I wouldn't be shocked if that happened. Also, a key thing to remember is it could be a game for next year on Switch. There is that rumor from PH Brazil uh, that said there was a 3DS and a GameCube game still releasing uh, remasters, still releasing on Switch after April of 2025. And technically... Twilight Princess is a GameCube game that was ported to Wii. I know it's weird because here in the U.S. it actually released on Wii first and then GameCube like a month later. But we all know the story of development of that game revealed in 2004. 
Uh, they mirrored the world in, in, in Wii, and it's a whole thing. But it is technically a GameCube game, so that could be next year. And, well, The Wind Waker obviously released just as a GameCube game, uh, later coming to Wii U, so that could be the game as well. Can't ignore those possibilities for next year. But still, uh, it's nice to see somebody who is super, super reliable, like a Tier 1 leaker. You know, Jeff Grubb and others are reliable, but a Tier 1 leaker coming out and being like, nah, that thing's dumb. Why? the hell has a Nintendo released it? I don't know. Uh, I'm very, very excited about that. But we're not done with our Zelda rumors because I mentioned that, look, while everyone's been going certain different directions with that Edward codename and that Edward codename could literally be the codename for the next big Legend of Zelda game not coming out till like 2027, 2028. That is entirely possible. But there's another rumor that's been floating out there for a bit from Papa Genos. If you don't remember, Papa Genos, a fellow content creator, put out there that he became aware of a Zelda game starring Zelda herself in development, but hasn't really given any details yet and said he might talk about it in some June direct predictions, suggesting that maybe it's a Switch game. But I find this all to be fascinating because when we go over, Papa Genos did comment on these rumors indirectly through another content creator. So if we go out here and we look at Stealth40k, he is a friend of the channel. Shout out Stealth, we gotta get you on a podcast again soon. He noted here that Midori says there is a project at Nintendo with the code name Edward, which he speculates could be Zelda related. The Link's Awakening remake had the code name Richard. If we actually receive an Oracle of Ages slash Seasons remake, that would make me very happy. Well, Papa Gino's is saying that might not be happening, but he does say, I think you'll be happy, but don't hold your breath for it to be an Oracle of Ages slash Seasons remake. Winky face. Now, if you guys don't remember, there was a third Oracles game that was supposed to be great creative released remaster i don't it, it was supposed to be a game it's been brought up in different interviews uh there's rumored different uh names for the project did you know gaming uh, did a little piece on it as well so yeah there was supposed to be a third game and there wasn't enough development resources and time to actually do it it was supposed to be a triforce of games one for each piece of the triforce so they ended up scrapping it and putting that link based system in and having a combined ending thing, which was still pretty neat, but obviously not the full realization. It was supposed to be heavily puzzle based. Uh, you know, the other ones were one was dungeon based, one was more action based, and then this was supposed to be puzzle based and it, it just never really came out or ever finished development. What if that is the game that's coming and that is the one starring Zelda, the third Oracle game, could be one starring Zelda. It would end up being, at this point, a brand new, likely top-down Zelda game to match with the Oracle games that could obviously lead to Oracle of Ages and Seasons getting remaked or remastered you know, down the line as well to complete the trilogy in HD. That would be really awesome and not something I had really considered when con you know talking about how Zelda could star in her own game. We talked about being a spinoff, but this could be a way to make it a mainline game, but it makes sense because it's the third pillar of these two other games and if you play them link is heavily involved so i look i don't want to i don't want to spoil anything if this ends up being what the game is and again papa genos isn't directly coming out and saying hey that's what the game is he's saying it's not oracle of ages or oracle of season but saying that you'll be happy about it uh i, I don't know what that's supposed to mean it, it, it might not be teasing the third oracle game it could just mean it's a different game or maybe he's not even referencing the zelda game at all that stars zelda Maybe he's referencing something else that he knows about. Again, Edward could be the Wind Waker HD. We talked about that because it's literally the translation of the character in German. So I'm just going to sit back and go, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm just hyped to have these multiple Zelda rumors, if nothing else. We may not know what Edward is. Uh, she may be kind of confused on why Twilight Princess HD isn't coming out. Midori. But here is what I am going to sit back and do. I am now expecting, consider this my first official, like, actual prediction for the Nintendo Direct in June, the last day of, of it. I was going to drop a Direct Prediction video tomorrow, but you know what? Here's a tease. We are going to get a Zelda game of some type, whether it's a brand new top-down game or a remake or remaster, announced during that Direct to release later this year. That is one of my predictions. It might seem safe. I don't know. Well, the rumors are stacking up. I don't know what it is. I'm not being so bold as to say it'll be Twilight Princess or Wind Waker or, a, you know, a brand new top down. I, I don't know. I'm not being that bold. But I, as a Zelda fan, 
any of those scenarios makes me happy. So that is my first official prediction for the June Nintendo Direct. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.